I'm Matthew Francis, and I'm gonna show you how to make some delicious baked macaroni and cheese. Basically what we're doing is we're skipping the process of making a cheese sauce for this macaroni, and we're just layering some noodles and cheese and some milk into a dish and baking it until it's all warm and bubbly and comes together. So the first thing you should do is preheat your oven to 300 degrees Fahrenheit. Next, we have to cook our macaroni. So bring a big pot of water to a boil, add in some salt, add your one pound of macaroni pasta, stir it all up, and let it come to a boil again and cook for at least seven to eight minutes or so, or until the macaroni is al dente, which means it's firm to the bite, but it's still a little bit tender. Then drain the pasta and set it aside. To a big baking dish, we're gonna start layering the pasta and the cheese. So basically you should have some slices of really great sharp cheddar cheese. Into your baking dish, put down a layer of the macaroni noodles, then put a layer of your slices of cheddar cheese, then do more macaroni, then more cheese, then more macaroni, then more cheese, until you end up with a cheese layer on top. You should be out of your macaroni and finish with the cheese. Next, we want to make our eggy, milky custard that's going to go in between the noodles and make sure it holds everything together. So on the side, in a separate bowl, add in your five eggs, a tablespoon of yellow mustard, and your cup and a half of milk. Whisk it together until it's really smooth, and then pour the egg mixture over the cheese and the noodles. Make sure that the milk mixture goes all over the noodles. Then you're just gonna put it in the oven and let it cook for at least 20 to 25 minutes until all the cheese has melted, the eggs have cooked, and the cheese begins to bubble a little bit on the edges and get a little bit brown. The goal here is to have a little bit of color on top, but you still wanna make sure that everything still stays moist and loose and wet. We don't want our cheese to get too hard and to congeal here. We want it all to stay really nice and loose. Then put this whole dish of mac and cheese on the table, scoop yourself some up, and sprinkle with some black pepper for some garnish and enjoy. And there you go. That's how you make some simple and delicious baked macaroni and cheese. Thank you for hanging out with me. If you enjoyed watching this video, please subscribe to All Recipes. We make a ton of helpful videos that are gonna be so useful for you in the kitchen. And don't forget to press that notification bell so you don't miss any of the great videos that we do make. And down in the comment section below, tell me your favorite way to have macaroni and cheese. Do you like it baked or do you like it on the stovetop? I'm Matthew Francis and I'll see you next time.